I thought today would be a good day for me to show you how I take care of my feeders. And I realize a chickadee just came into the feeders right behind me as I'm doing this video. But I'm going to show you how I take care of my feeders here in the backyard. First of all, I swept out the debris from the tray and refilled it with a mixture of peanuts and other shelled sunflower. Then next, I refilled the finch feeder here and topped it off. But it's really important that when you do that, you take the feeder down and agitate it back and forth like this. That way, if any moisture has gotten in and created some clumps, you can break them up. Always make sure to check the seed, um, and if it does start to clump up, empty out your seed and refill it. Also, I refilled the hopper feeder up top by flipping up the lid and filling it with black oil sunflower seeds. These other three feeders have black oil sunflower seed in, and it's not getting emptied very quickly, so I don't need to do anything with it. The safflower, and that's the last of my safflower, so we'll see how long that lasts. And the sunflower seeds in this feeder are not going down very quickly either. So we're gonna just leave that the way it is. I also threw some fresh seed on the ground below. I used this patio stone to put the seed on. The seed that I have down here is a mixture of black oil sunflower seeds, cracked corn, and millet. I also spill a little bit of niger or thistle seed on the ground too. I noticed that my bird bath was starting to get a little bit low on water and the rocks were starting to come above the surface. So I topped it off with some water from my garden hose. And while I did that, I cleaned out some of the leafy debris that gets in. Did you hear that flicker in the background? While I'm out here, I thought I'd show you some of the native wildflowers that I have planted around my bird bath. First, I've got this patch of bloodroot that's just starting to bloom. And over here, some wild ginger is coming up. Just over here, We've got just the beginnings of Jack in the Pulpit poking up through the ground. I've also got one lone trout lily leaf coming up right here. We'll have to see how things green up as spring progresses. Even before I finished filling the feeders, this pair of chickadees came in for a snack. Then I watched them eat their snack and flit around in the tree next to my feeders. Later, I saw one go into my wren house, checking it out. Maybe they'll nest there. Other visitors to my yard while I was filling the feeders included this golden crown kinglet you can hear in the background. You can watch it take flight right here. Later, I was treated to this flock of cedar waxwings sitting in my front yard tree. They were joined by this red-winged blackbird, and you can hear my dog Rosie barking in the background. Finally, all my hard work with the bird bath had been rewarded with great views of this migrant yellow rumped warbler. He was only checking things out and didn't get a drink or take a bath, but maybe he'll come back again soon.
I've also got a visitor with me out here in the yard. Everybody say hello to Rosie. Rosie had been watching me from behind my photography blind in the sunroom when she jumped out to come and visit me. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again real soon.